Hey everybody, this is Bridges here, and you are watching CBI Info Entry. My dear friends, if you are living in NCR area of Delhi and your office or workplace is in Delhi, then you may be feeling the heat of road jam by protesters at the Delhi border. maybe burari border or gajipur border chilla border or jatikara border or tikri borders there is protest by the farmers against the three farms laws passed by the parliament recently you have to spend hours together to cross the delhi border to reach your destination on one hand your precious time is wasted in the long road jams and running engines of your vehicle is making dent on your pocket as well in addition to the tension in your mind for no fault of yours now remember the days of shahin bagh protest earlier this year if you were living in noida or greater noida and going to south delhi to your office then road was blocked at shahin bagh how was your experience i hope very bad and not in good taste keep watching this video till end to take the full benefit on this issue everyone has a right to exercise their own fundamental rights peacefully but it does not mean that they are given an unfettered right to block the roads that cause maximum inconvenience to others who share roads with them no matter what the cause is behind the blockage of road there cannot be any justification for the road block it is high time now that there must exist a law that would make it obligatory for everyone to not indulge in any activity that leads to blockage of roads or rail routes or any other routes that can cause maximum inconvenience to others the shahin bagh incident is one of the most disgraceful incidents of such circumstances where the routes connecting delhi and noida were blocked for more than 100 days by the protesters of shahin bagh who demanded roll back of the citizenship amendment act passed by the parliament now same is happening at the delhi borders this time by farmers who are protesting against farms laws and have blocked the delhi borders honorable supreme court gave the directions to police and local administration to tackle with this kind of situations but it seems that the police and administration have completely ignored the directions of the honorable supreme court of india which is causing maximum inconvenience to the general public at large without there being any fault of them for your easy understanding first i will share with you the background of the shine bagh case judgment of honorable supreme court this judgment came after a petition was filed in the honorable supreme court highlighting problems caused by the protest which led to the road block and traffic problems in delhi the sit in protest against the citizenship amendment act that is caa 2019 were organized in the shahin bagh area of the national capital at delhi from december 2019 to march 2020 the petition highlighted 
that the Delhi High Court should have intervened positively and not left the situation fluid and the administration should have talked to protesters earlier the petition was filed in Delhi High Court which heard and disposed of the plea the same day without any specific direction despite a lapse of considerable period of time there was neither any negotiation nor any action by the administration protesters did not fully realize the ramifications of the COVID-19 pain and continued large gatherings in a small place and there was also a general unwillingness to relocate to another side. Supreme Court ruled that the right to protest in public places is not absolute. Supreme Court found that indefinite occupation of public road by the Shaheen Bagh protesters unacceptable. The court's verdict came in response to petitions filed against anti-sitting protests in Delhi Shainbab area. In its ruling, Honorable Supreme Court held that blockading a public road in the national capital was not acceptable. While the top court recognized the right to dissent in democracy, but added that protests must be carried out in designated area only. The petitioner alleged in action by local authorities in cleaning the public roads in South Delhi. It argued that Shaheen Bagh sit in protest was causing inconvenience to lakhs of commuters. Delhi's Shaheen Bagh emerged as the epicenter of anti ca protest. Protesters consisted of mainly women and children. Supreme Court also appointed mediators to convince protesters to change the venue of the sit-in protest. Protesters were removed later by the police on March 24, 2020 in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Before the court, the issue was right to protest versus right to movement. Bench of Justice Sanjay Kishan Call, Justice Anirudha Bose and Justice Krishna Murari appreciated the right to peaceful protest against a legislation but made it unequivocally clear that public ways and public spaces cannot be occupied in such a manner and that too indefinitely. This is very important observation by the top court. In its judgment, the honorable court held that the public space or public places cannot be occupied indefinitely and due to inaction by the administration, such a long roadblock remained in Shaheen Bagh. Now I will discuss about the judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, that is, judgment on the role of administration. The court held that such kind of occupation of public places, whether at the site in question or anywhere else, for protest, is not acceptable and the administration should take action to keep the area clear of encroachments or obstructions. It highlighted that the state or the union territory administration have the entire responsibility to prevent encroachments in public places and should not wait for courts to pass suitable orders. In this order, the Honorable Supreme Court referred to its 2018 judgment in Madhur Kisan Shakti Sangathan versus Union of India 
with dealt with demonstrations at the Delhi's Jantar Mantar. This judgment of Madhur Kisan Shakti Sangathan tried to balance the interest of local residents with those of the protesters to hold demonstrations and directed the police to devise a proper mechanism for limited use of the area for peaceful protest and demonstrations and to lay down parameters for this. Further, this verdict of the court touched upon the technology involvement also. The verdict also dealt on the merits and demerits of the technology impacting social movements. The ability to scale up quickly using digital infrastructure has empowered movements to embrace their often leaderless aspirations and evade usual restrictions of censorship. However, the flip side to this is that social media channels are often fraught with danger and can lead to the creation of highly polarized environments which often see parallel conversations running with no constructive outcome. Then the Honorable Supreme Court made the observation on dissent also. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.